Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play the Grey Garden, Part 8. Uh, last we left off, Flame Bat attacked school. And, uh, well, because they're short-handed, they asked, uh, Etiu and Kukau asked Froze for help, and she's being sent off to investigate a faraway area to the east. But Yosafire and friends wanted to come along, and she said sure. So, here we are. Um... But also, before we get st uh, more into it, I wanted to let you, you all know that I uh, the Grey Garden was updated a little while ago to uh, 107, I believe, which added a few more things. So, I am currently playing that version. I just transferred over my save file. Also, um, I went to the store, I went to the shop in the village, and I bought everyone the Lotus, the Lotus set, I guess. Just uh, just to be on the safe side. And, like, I know I know the battles haven't been particularly hard, but still, I just wanted to be safe. And I almost forgot. Gotta equip these ones to them. Alright, so I think we're all set to go. So let us talk to Froze. Are you prepared? Yes, we are. Alright, let's go. Though I'm a little uneasy. Hello, Kukalb. Not often Etsy goes outside. Perhaps I should prepare too in case of the unthinkable. <sighs> what a pain. I'm fed up with this. The kitties! Oh, it's you. How'd it go? Okay, so the cats, um, are his servants, and they were invest- I guess they were investigating the cave and stuff. Though I'm kind of wondering why... Hmm. No, I'm thinking about the suspicious person on the beach, but... I see. Well, still, if you do find any, bring them in alive. Oh, maybe they were going to go after her, but she disappeared. They seem to burn up when they're killed. Or they're talking about the flame bats. Don't slip up. I can't have you poking your nose into everything. Uh, I really hope to avoid depending on you. What do you mean, why? Because it's always trouble! I don't know either. Not their objective. Nothing. At any rate, we can't be careless. We know that they're invading our world, at least. Oh boy. Oh boy, he looks scary. Who can say? I'll do what I must if it comes to it. I just hope this isn't too much trouble. Okay, so those who are the cats were. Oh. I like this area. Oh, so let's talk to people. This is Daybreak Forest. Our objective is strictly to find suspicious persons, nothing else. And only demons! Yes, yes. <laughs> oh my! What a strange forest! I've never been here before! I guess we can warp back at any time if we need to, but let us continue. Daybreak Forest. Come by any time you long for that morning feeling. That's a really lovely. I like the sky, and the colors, and the music. It's really nice. But let us head out to find suspicious persons. Um. Hello. Crows. 
Okay. I just like using their specials. <laughs> That wasn't too hard. Wow. Bit of experience. I might have to do some grinding after. You have fire to level 11. Macarona to level 13. Okay. Let's continue on our way. Out of the way. Oh boy. Splitting paths. Where do we go? Oh. Items! Got some... Wharf Roach Swords. Only two of them. Uh, okay, who needs the attack? He has fire and throws. Oh, well, we're probably getting... I guess no point in buying this stuff if we're gonna get, be getting more armor and everything. Or, like, weapons and everything, but... Eh. Better safe than sorry, I guess. I like this music. Maybe an item down here? A sign. Too bad. Nothing here. Eh. Okay. Out of the way. Sorry, music's really catchy. But let's continue. So many crows! Well, for all purposes, grinding, I'm get. Uh, which way? Down? Oh, boy. Oh, item! Got some straw effigies? Huh? Want to make someone pay? Please reconsider. Quipples? Um, I guess. <laughs> uh, is there going to be something up here now? More like another long path. Oh boy. I'm hoping I don't have to, like, doesn't seem like this is the way. Okay. I hope I don't have to, like, cut anything if it's too long, but... Might have to! Or at least speed things up. This way first. Curiosity gets the best of me because I want to check everything on the screen before going on. Come on. Oh! Got some power candy! Ooh, more power candies. Okay, who needs... Down we go, and this way, and up, and to the next screen full of more crows and pretty music. And another item. To Jimmy Shields. Not much defense added. Guess I'll give them to you guys. Gonna be honest. With that, with this guy here, and no music just made that kind of scary. Oh, he's a wandering healer. 10G for a full heal, how's that sound? You probably don't need it, but sure. Fully healed. 
I probably should have grinded a bit, but... Oh, dang it. Nothing in that forest, huh? Nope. Yes, but there are two more forests to search. Let's go. Two more forests. Okay. W wait, it's not just this one? That's right. It's three connected forests. And I'm to investigate all three. Man, what a hassle. Are you going to go back? Just you, that is. I'll do my best! Of course, Robbery's sleeping. No, I, I, I just kind of want to say sorry about the guy, but it's like just seeing from seeing Mogigo Castle and stuff. Yeah. Well, let's continue on to the next forest. Hello. It's so much brighter. I wonder what kind of music it'll have. Big day forest. Ooh, I like this music too. I wonder what kind of enemies we'll encounter here. Midday forest. A pretty noontime forest of blue skies. And bunnies. They're bunnies! Rabbits. There we go. I know Rawberry's uh, strawberry smile fig freaks me out, but it's nice using an all uh, an attack that gets all enemies. Okay, well, I guess I could do some grinding here too, or in the third forest too. So many bunnies! They're so cute. Sort of. Got some cans of strawberries. I don't think we got those yet. Cures all status effects but fainting. Oh, nice. Down we go. On to the next screen. What's this way? Out of the way. Oh, item. Got some speed candy. Food to give the speed. Eh, we only got two. So. Wow, I just realized Yosefire's agility is really high. But I guess. Roosters. Rooster, uh, put it on your head. Do it, cockadoodle. Do it. <laughs> uh, well, adds decent defense. Guess give it to Roth. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just getting this image now in my head of the girls actually putting a rooster on your head. On their heads, and it's pretty funny. Okay, who? Ah, Yosfer. Cockadoodle, do it! Okay, and then I guess let's go up here. Next screen. I hope I didn't miss anything back there. Hmm, nice little open area. Hello, bunnies. Another item. See Jimmy. See Jimmy. See Jimmy will protect you. What is it? Accessory. I'm giving it to Froze. open area. I like this area too. It's really nice. Anything down here? Nope. 
more bunnies. Happily hopping around. in this one. More armor or something? And another, too. Shields. Get these shields. Very ordinary ordinary day shield. Scarves. Instant adorableizer. <laughs> mm, I didn't realize we'd be getting so many armor items. Got some health candy. And there's four, so we can give one to each. Probably n Probably wasn't a very good idea, but it might work. Okay, nothing over here, so I guess we backtrack. Backtrack, backtrack. And up. Side. Upside. Upside. On to next scre next screen now. Oh, I guess we reached the end of this forest. Nothing in that forest either. Nope. Right. One more forest. Next one's gonna be empty too! Feeling it! It would be nice. It would be nice! Ah! I was sleeping. <laughs> Is that so? Yes, it is so. And another wandering healer! Hello! Yes, I'd like a full heal. Thank you kindly. And on to the last forest! Ooh, interesting trees. Evening forest. Oh, this is nice too. I like the designs of the trees, they're pretty neat. And a random vine. Evening forest. Always evening, everywhere, all year round. And I guess... Wait, you're the enemies? Black Flutterfly. if I need to, I can always backtrack and uh, grind there, but yeah, I might have to, depending. Okay, so which way? Um, hmm. I just don't want to miss any items. Some hatchet hatchets. A cutting and striking weapon. Alright, who to give it to? Strawberry. Wow, that brought the attack up a lot. Should we give it to Macarona too? Whoa. Okay, Macarona, here you go. Which is funny considering Actually, no, it's not. Never mind. RPG, they can use whatever weapons they want. I was just thinking because Macarona usually uses her fists and her special sort of special attacks. Hmm. Where to go? Where to go? Or 
forest is so big. And a path that's been blocked off. Hmm. Curious. Okay, I keep feeling like I'm missing stuff back here. I'm really hoping I'm not. But... Well, it's so big, and if I check every corner of it, there's no way I could probably find all of them. Hello! Um... Not... I'm guessing the forest is not going to be very empty after all. Well, we'll have to see. Hopefully it's... I uh, wonder who it's going to be, then. Are you the wandering healer? Not now. I uh, just want to quickly look around and see. I'm really hoping I didn't miss... I, I feel like I missed something. I'm really hoping I didn't. Hmm. I already went this way, right? Yes, I did. That's where the hole was. Uh. You know what? Let's just get out of here. We'll go. Maybe there's a boss. I don't know. But let's head out. Head out and see. Maybe the boss won't be too difficult. Sure. Maybe I don't need a healing, but heal me up anyway. Thank you! Flame bats! We knew from the hole that we saw. Eek! King. There really were! There really were! Rose, what do we do? I'll contact it to you for now. What is it? My phone isn't working. S say what? Then what? Should we retreat to the castle? But if we lose sight of them, who knows if we'll be able to find them again? No, we've discovered that they were indeed here. That should be enough. We'll return and report. Not only is it not our place to act without orders, it's dangerous. Well, yeah, considering they attacked the school and they also attacked the Yosifier. One of them attacked the Yosifier and beat her up pretty badly. What are you saying? When there are tasty bats right before our eyes. To retreat here would be suicide. No. Hmm? My tasty, tasty dinner! Oh, no, Rawberry. <gasps> Rawberry? That idiot! What? Rawberry, where are you going? Wait! And she's out of our party. Oh boy, now we gotta go chase her. Rawberry, come back! Hello? What is all this? These are Etu stones! Oh no. No wonder my cell phone wasn't working. Eh? You see the shattered stones on the ground, yes? What about them? Are you not listening? Idiot! Our phones are connected by the stone's power! They're all over the place! 
Whoa, that's how it works? And aren't the stones there to protect our world too? Yes, who could have done this? Well, I guess we're going to find out soon enough. I hope. Would the flame bats be strong enough to do that? Oh dear. Please tell me this is just Rawberry being messy. Yep, it's Rawberry. Munch nom, snarf, snarf. I agree, Froze. Found Rawberry! Ah! Wh what you eating? Ah! Rawberry! Eating bizarre things again! Mm hmm. Oh, guys! Rawberry, I told you not to do anything reckless. If anything had happened. Uh, uh, I was hungry, so. sorry? Sorry! Aw, she's tearing up! Oh, she's crying! Alright, I get it. Stop giving me the puppy dog eyes. Sorry, Thor. I found something neat over there, so will you forgive me? Something neat? Yeah, I saw some guys! Really now? Who'd you see? Let's keep going, and maybe we'll run into them ourselves. And I guess those are the guys, whoever she saw, were the guys who uh, destroyed Etty's stones. This way, this way! What's this way? There's these guys talking about weird stuff below the cliff, see? Weird stuff? Oh, it's the punk guy and someone new! Tell you so, Pomi. Did you? I'm trying. Hmm. Did you? She looks like a young kid. I don't know. Sure did. I'm begging you, really. We need to do the job right before Daddy can arrive, right? Well, yeah, but. Don't worry, Pomi will do the job right for Daddy. I, I mean, that's great and all, but he's really scary when he's mad. Whatever Daddy aims for dies. Eee, you're scary. <laughs> uh, um, I think we ought to back off myself. Daddy's invincible. He's the best. That means no problem. We'll kill all these guys. Sorry if I'm making her voice kind of annoying. I just don't know what to do. <laughs> you say so. Paul me want to start slaughtering soon. Uh, oh, really? I think I'd rather go, um, karaoke maybe? 
You didn't seem very tough for a demon, do you? Really? <laughs> At an intense moment? She's talking about how she wants to kill people and you're just sleeping. Uh, what was that about? Let's hurry to the castle. We have to inform them quickly. Oh no! That won't be necessary! Oh my gosh, they're all falling! Ah! Oh no, right on top of them! Oh no, this is not good. Not good at all. I should have level grinded. Whoa, what the F? Hmm? What are you idiots doing? They were watching from the top of the cliff. Uh, Re Rita! Now, naturally. I assume you're done with your work? Eh, uh, uh, c course! Huh? Liar! Pants on fire! We're not done yet. That's good. He'll be here soon. Everything is in order. You betcha. <laughs> so what do we do with the groundhuggers? Now oh, I made her sound like robbery, I guess. <laughs> if they heard you, we'll have to deal with them. Guess so. Ooh, can Paul me do it? I want to play. This is no time for play. I'm sure you're aware. Then what if we take them back, throw them in prison, and I, then I can play later? Please, Rita? I... Just from how she's talking, I don't... She's scary. True, I wouldn't expect these girls to pose any threat. That's fine by me. Hooray! All right, Emoff. You carry him. What? Me? Probably ought to break their la arms and legs or something, just to be on the safe side. Yay! New toys! Oh, God. No, nope, 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 nope. I don't like you. Nope. This girl with the glasses. Hmm. What are you thinking? It's so quiet without those four around. This is boring. No school even. How about a walk, Chellen? Aw. Maybe we'll go to the beach. And now we're in control of new characters. Well, not exactly new, but we got Diallo and Chellen. I wonder, do they actually have magic? Diallo punch. <laughs> Chellen punch. Okay, um... Hmm. Guess we'll head out. And she said the beach, so let's head for the beach. Too bad they don't know where Yosa Fire is because this is a uh, kind of a bad situation right now. They've been captured by the enemy. And I knew that lady was suspicious. Yosa Fire should have said something. Oh well, I suppose. Oh, hello, Etiu. 
Ah, it said to you. What a rare sight. Hey, Giallo. Shellen. Hmm, is it? I like to watch the sea sometimes myself. What a nice sky and sea. Indeed. <laughs> Seriously, she is the cutest character out of the cast, I think. Though I like them all, really. Diallo, do you like angels? Mm -hmm. I certainly don't hate them. I see. Good. Shellen, do you like demons? Aww. <laughs> Good. You've only heard stories, but the sky and the sea weren't always so pretty. So we were taught when angels and demons, Etiu and Kukab didn't get along, and it was quite a bitter conflict. Yes, it's a very good world now, I feel, except for what happened to make it like this. Why should that detract? One party won't apologize after a fight, they'll never reconcile. She's got a point. Yes, well, it wasn't so lukewarm as a fight. But isn't it still true? Perhaps. Come to think of it. I heard that this was a rarity. Oh, between me and Kukau? Yes, other rulers would call me a herrick among herricks. Heretic? Heretic? Heretic among heretics. So that's really the way it is? Yes, I believe so. Oh, I've been thinking. There might be something different from mere pride behind it. I see. It's comical to think you'd keep hurting each other, forgetting why you hated in the first place. They call themselves omnipotent, but there's no such thing. They're just standard fools. And back then, I truly was a fool. Whenever I see the sea, I remember. I can't forget. I mustn't. I can't make it as if it never happened from the past, is what they say. Yes, I see. Hmm. Shellen tells me that she loves you even so, Etiu. Aww. <laughs> Thanks. I love you all, too. The angels, the demons... And of course, Kukalb. Aww. Ah, yes. What led me to make up with Kukalb? It started with Wodas. Hmm? Really? Yeah. Something he said woke me up, you could say. Well, a lot happened. Hey, have you found him? No, not yet. He's nowhere to be found. I'm really worried. A bit hasty, honestly. Say, it is related to those flame demons, isn't it? Possibly. I do wonder if it's not some outside force. Hmm. The 
I don't know who's doing it, or who's doing it is. And I will find Wodas, and then... Whoever I'm up against, I will protect this world. No matter what. I really like Et to you. She's a really good character. Oh boy. Well said. Too bad you've never protected anything. Hello, who are you? Oh my goodness. Who goes there? Does it matter who? You look creepy. You. You're the cause of all this nonsense. Leave this world at once. That I can't do. Think you can beat me? Nope. Don't have a big enough sword to cross swords with you. Besides, it's not you I'm after. Then what are you after? Does that matter? Don't get too cocky. If you leave this instant, you wouldn't want a friend to die, do you? You won't lay a finger on them. No, oh, no, not those little brats. The angel with the eye patch. He, oh no, he has wood ass. Oh no. Well, I, I knew he was cap I knew he was captured and everything by whoever is doing this, but this this guy, oh no. <sighs> Great, he's gonna make Etty give up by basically saying he'll kill him if you don't. <clears throat> what will it be? You kind, kind fool. You jerk. No, jerk's too kind a of word. I'm just trying not to swear. But. Coward. He is a coward. Yeah, you. I'll take that as a compliment. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're a coward. You're using someone as a shield instead of fighting fairly. Oh, what a. Diallo, Shallon, run to Kukab right away. Uh oh I think I'd better have you sit still for a while. <laughs> it's you! Shallon, this way! Wait! Ah! <laughs> oh, dear. <sighs> Got away. Good! Good that they got away. Now they can run to Koo Calb and he can kick your butt. Oh well. Etsy? I sense something happened. The world gradually begins to go mad. Hmm. Our time is. Our time is. Not for a while yet. Those two are the cats! I'm calling it right now! <laughs> well, they have the cat ears and everything! Okay, well... Anyway... Ah, that's right. No 
intensifier. One day when I was little, I was flying. And then I messed up and fell and broke my horn. Ever since then, I, I was too scared to fly. Oh, well that explains quite a bit how she gets froze to carry her and how she keeps saying like I can't fly. Oh, poor Yosifar. Yosef Yosefire What? Oh my goodness. They're in prison. Huh? You came to are you hurt? Um I got a lump. But, uh, where is this? I don't know. They're in jail. Oh, no, this is not good. Okay, um, the video is kind of going on a little long, so I'm going to cut it here. Um, I know the guys are in a bad situation right now and it might be an awkward place to cut it. But we'll find out we'll find out and probably have them escape from prison next time on the Grey Garden. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all later.